right, more incredible live pictures coming in from the double ULKY Chopper HD late on this Friday afternoon, early evening. Some of the Ohio River flooding that continues to worsen now, now that we're moving into the weekend. Uh, this is actually near Blankenbaker and River Road, of course, on the Louisville side of the Ohio River. You can see the widespread flooding, the river continuing to rise really at the rate of an inch to as much as three inches per hour from time to time. But basically around one to two inches per hour is the rate of rise. And, uh, you know, we still have about another four to maybe even as much as five feet to go, according to the latest National Weather Service river forecast. Keep in mind, heavy rainfall is a possibility again late tonight, tomorrow morning, and finally that last batch in here, mainly tomorrow night. So let's get right to it. Outside at this time, it is mild, upper 50s, low 60s, humidity high, 86%, a northwest breeze in here right now at 9 miles per hour. The radar scan around Louisville, nothing showing up, but as the ceilings lower over the next few hours, we could be looking at a little bit of fog developing. We could be looking at some drizzle as well. Really nothing more than that across the better part of the viewing area this evening. Farther off to the south, a few rumbles of thunder, some heavier showers have developed at least on an isolated basis close to Greensburg right now. A little bit of thunder can be heard and a heavier downpour. These are very, very isolated. A little bit more instability right now in our far southern communities, but that instability should wane. So the bottom line for the next hour, two hours or so, a few isolated storms in this red shading here, this red zone, and really that should be about it until later on tonight and also from time to time tomorrow. All right, so here's the big picture. There's that batch of heavy rain that was over us right there late last night and this morning, that one winding down. But look at the moisture redeveloping west and also off to the south. And this moisture continues to push in our direction. So more bouts of rainfall to get through and some of which could be on the heavy side. As we head through the evening, this is midnight tonight, a little bit of green out there, so a passing shower possible, basically some drizzle and also some patchy fog. And then late tonight, tomorrow morning, some heavier showers will likely set in across the region and from about the parkways through Louisville and especially north. Some of that rain could be locally heavy. That batch should die off a little bit tomorrow afternoon. That's not going to last, though. The last batch of rain and even potentially strong thunderstorm activity is expected to arrive here tomorrow evening through the overnight. Matter of fact, this model right here shows an impressive line of storms tracking across the better part of the viewing area, especially from Louisville and points off to the south with it. Heavy rainfall, lightning, thunder, maybe some gusty winds. And then finally, the cold front moves through. Everything gets a push off towards the east. Drier air finally settles into the area as we move through Sunday and also next week. But not before an additional one to maybe as much as three inches of rain, which could come down in those heavy rain bouts from ton tonight through tomorrow night. And again, tomorrow night, that chance for a strong storm or two, maybe even a severe cell, absolute best chances from near Owensboro and points off to the southwest. Hey, we'll keep you posted. Here's the forecast. Next few hours, an isolated storm well south. Aside from that, a little bit of drizzle could form this evening, and then more rain sets in very late tonight. Your seven-day forecast calls for a late-day high of 72 tomorrow, some morning rain, and then some showers and storms tomorrow night. Some of those could be kind of heavy. Guys, we dry it out. The good news, Sunday, some sunshine returns with a high of 58. More dry skies Monday, Tuesday, pleasant temperatures.